Hi guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. So today we are going to discuss a very important interview question, which is, can you explain me object-oriented concepts, which is encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, and abstraction. So today we are going to practically see how these things are implemented using Java program. So let's get into our Eclipse and get started. If you like my content, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Yeah. So let's uh, get to our first concept, which is what is encapsulation? So encapsulation is where you bind your data and functionality or the methods together into a single entity. So let's take an example of, of a person class. I'll right click, I'll create a person class. So let me create a class and name this class as person. Okay, so after creating a person class, I'm going to create a string name. I'm going to make this private. Uh, let's make this private string name. And I'm going to take one more variable, which is private uh, integer age. So this, uh, these are instance variables. So they hold data. Person has uh, two types of information. One is name, one is age. So I'm binding that thing in a class. Also, what I'm doing, I'm just uh, providing getters and setters for this. Uh, so, so generate getters and setters into this class. So I provided, I added the instance variables. I added the getters and setter into this class. So binding of data and the operations into a single unit known as class is known as encapsulation. Now consider an example. If you want to check if this person can vote, then what I would do? So I would go ahead and make public boolean can vote. I can write a method and then I'll check this instance variable age. If age is greater than 18, then return true, else return false. So in this case, return false. Now you can see one thing. Uh, when we bind the data and the methods that operate on the data. So this is a method that operate on a data into a single unit, which is a class, person class. So this concept of binding your fields and the methods that operate on those fields is known as encapsulation. So hope the first concept is very clear and you can answer this question in your interview. Let's move on to our next topic which is what is inheritance. So let me create a, a class, new class. I'll make this uh, class as inheritance demo. To give an example of inheritance demo, I'm going to take example of vehicle. So let's take example of uh, vehicle or let's take an example of animal. Or uh, let's go here and uh, create a class known as animal animal so let me make a capital oh this is a class where it has one method public uh, void make sound every animal makes a sound so i'm going to just sys out animal making sound animal making sound now let's take an example there is one more animal which is cat that extends from animal so what i'll do i'll create a new class known as uh, cat finish and then i'll extend this cat from my animal class so uh, extends extends is the keyword not extend from this animal and then i'll override the method that i wrote in my animal class so i'll override this method here now this feature of extending the behavior of animal class and adding new feature to the cat class is known as inheritance. Whenever we extend any class from any other class, that is known as inheritance. So here we are extending cat from animal. So this is the concept of inheritance. You can make any number of classes and extend it from animal. So let, let's make one more class. Uh, I'll make this as a dog and dog extends, extends from animal. Okay, and I'll override the same uh, here instead of uh, animal, I'll make it cat. I'll copy this method into dog and I'll write dog making sound. Now I use the concept of inheritance. 
Now let's try to see what happens. I'll go to inheritance demo and I'll do main. This is main method creation. I'll create animal class uh, animal equal to animal. I'll name this as animal one new cat and i'll do this as animal animal 2 equal to new dog now i can do animal 1 dot make sound animal 2 dot make sound and i'll run this I run as java application i'll save everything now it will print uh, cat making sound and dog making sound so we took the behavior of animal, we extended that behavior in cat. We took the behavior, behavior, behavior of animal and extended that behavior in dog. So that is what inheritance is. Now let's uh, move to our third example, which is polymorphism. And polymorphism uses inheritance. Here you can see, um, I am assigning cat object to the animal. So animal can hold reference to cat animal can hold reference to dog so here you can see cat is a uh, cat as well as animal a dog is dog as well as animal uh, this behavior where mm, it has multiple forms is known as polymorphism so animal can act as a cat animal can act as a dog okay so that is uh, the behavior of polymorphism uh, let's move to our last topic which is abstraction and this is very important topic um i'll make a, a new class which will demonstrate uh abstraction demo so abstraction demo for abstraction we are going to take help of shape class let me create a main method okay oh uh, i'll create a new class and uh, name this as shape but uh, just make sure this class is abstract because shape we don't know what type of shape it is it is either circle or it is uh, either a uh, square or rectangle so we don't know now what i'm going to do i'm going to write one abstract method to this class so let's try to write a uh, abstract method um, public uh, void calculate shape 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 and this and i'll try to make this as public abstract void abstract void. so this is my abstract method oh when um we, we call calculate area not calculate shape when we call calculate area of this shape method we don't know how to calculate this area now let's go ahead and uh write one more class which is a concrete class a concrete class is the one which we exactly know how to calculate the area about so take this example circle and this circle extends my shape class now we have to override the calculate area method here uh, and provide the implementation of how we are going to calculate the area of uh, this class so let's try to uh, uh, let's do one thing uh, the shape this instead of void it should return double because when we calculate the area we should return the area using double so i go to my circle class and instead of void i return my double now for calculating area of a circle we need radius so let's go ahead and uh, define a radius so private double radius and while creating my circle class, uh, I'll take this as a parameter circle in the constructor. So double radius. And I'll set this to the instance variable radius equal to radius. All right. Now what I'll do uh, for calculating the area of my circle, I'll do you know, math dot pi pi into radius into radius so this is how i calculate the area of circle and i return that back so the concept to remember here is shape shape is abstract we don't know how to calculate area of a shape but when we say circle we exactly know how to calculate the area of circle 
So that is the principle of abstraction. Now let's uh, go to our uh, abstraction demo. And what I would do is I would create a shape. Uh, I'll name this as a circle equal to new, new circle. And I'll pass radius as 10. And uh, I'll call it circle dot calculate area. Take this in double area. And I'll try to print this out. Area of circle is. Uh, and I'll print the area. Now, let's try to save all this. Uh, what is the error? Type cannot convert uh, from circle to shape. Uh, why is this problem? Circle to shape. All right, calculate area. Let me check what is the issue. I'll try to save everything. Now the issue is resolved because I did not save the earlier classes. Now let me run this program. And the area is 314. All right, so the main concept of abstraction here is uh, shape or uh, the area of shape cannot be calculated but when it comes to the concrete shape which is circle area of that shape can be calculated which is the concrete one i hope you enjoyed the uh, video thank you guys for watching have a good day